This summer, Kings Fork Middle School hosted two enrichment camps that featured science, technology, engineering, and math. In one program, fifth through eighth grade students learned to apply aerodynamic principles by constructing hot air balloons, glider planes, tetrahedral kites, and parachutes. Sydney, why did you take my class this summer? Because I had nothing better to do this summer and I wanted to do fun activities like doing parachutes and all that and going to Mount, um, Mount Trashmore and letting them go and stuff. Okay. Melanie, why did you take my class this summer? Because when my mom asked me if I wanted to go, it sounded very fun and it's not like I really did have anything better to do. We watched a video about flight and about air currents, and we watched a video about how to build a parachute and how the parachutes need to have air vents so that the air doesn't get trapped inside it. Well, I took paper and I glued all of these little pieces together, and, but before that, I cut them out. I want to make sure my parachute is good by uh, making sure all the strings are even together so that they, so the parachute can fall down straight and making sure the shape of the parachute is as even as it can be so that it falls down good and safely. Many of the maiden flights had their problems, but they knew not to give up. Instead, the students analyzed the problem, made corrections, and tried again. Bye. Hydraulics was the discipline for the following week. Students built their own robotic arm that used a system of syringes, plastic tubes, and colored water to manipulate the arm. After the construction phase, students were challenged to manipulate the robot to move ping pong balls from point A to point B using the Cartesian coordinate system and predetermined syringe settings to achieve the goal. Meanwhile, down the hall at the Tidewater Governor's School for Science and Technology, they also sponsored a two-week STEM program that also focused on aerodynamics. This year, we, our theme is Exploring New Horizons, and we are looking at the history of aviation and rocketry from the beginning of time. The students are creating a timeline from back in the early days to current of important events along the way. They are also going to look at individuals and their role that they play. We're creating this huge timeline. We're going to have a wall of fame with um, all the important people from aviation and rocketry. And then as far as their engineering design challenges, they are building and testing parachutes. They are building, designing, and launching rockets. They are building and testing hot air balloons and gliders. And they will, each of those, they will have certain criteria where they can go back because a major part of this whole process is to build something, test it, and then go make changes to make it work better. Now with the rockets, it's kind of a one-shot deal because they launch those, but all the other items, they can go back and make changes. Under close supervision from a rocket launching expert, students push the button that launched their rocket. Once the rocket fuel was expelled, hopefully a parachute was deployed to bring it back to Earth. This is Bethany Bradshaw reporting for News Bites.